matchbox here. Inside the matchbox, I have a penny. Now, I want you to watch closely. I'm going to place the penny on top of the matchbox and the count to three. One, two, three. I bang on top of the matchbox. The penny disappears and penetrates right through. If you have a look. Wow. Sealed bottle, cap. There's no way this cap can go from the top or through the bottom. Now one, two, three. The cap penetrates the bottle and you can give the bottle out for examination. Coin, Coke can. One, two, Coin penetrates the can and you can give it out for examination. Have you ever wondered how magicians bend cutlery or stop time? Yeah. But what I want to do today is uh, I want to try a little experiment and prove to you that it's not only magicians that have this ability to do all these things, but each individual, for example really? yourself, has got this ability as well. Now, we need something for this experiment. Um, I'll tell you what, can I, let's borrow your watch. Yeah, can you take your yeah. watch off? Can I have it or do you want it back? I would like it back. You like it back? Okay. Now, I just want you to watch, watch your, look at your watch. I don't know if you've examined it closely. You have got this small um, dial just moving around every second of the minute around the watch. Yeah? Now, what we're going to do, I want you to just visualise that that slowly, slowly grind into a halt. Now, when you're ready, I want you to command it to stop. Command it with so much mental power and see what happens. Let's just try this uh, little experiment. You ready? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Now you see what you've done. See, it's not only magicians, it is you as well. I tell you what, let's, let's bring it back to life. Now, just visualise it starting again. And when you're ready, say start. Command your watch to start ticking away again, bring it back to life. Stop. <laughs> wow, what you've done. How did I do that? Just, you've got abilities you don't realise you've had. Wow. Have a two pound coin and a beer mat. Now, we all know the only way of getting a £2 coin in the glass is by tilting the £2 coin in the glass. But being a magician, we don't do it like that. We do it differently. Watch. One, two, three. And it just penetrates the beer mat just like that. But we're going to do it again. I'll tell you what. Um, do it a second time. Watch closely. Just like that, and for the second time it penetrates. Wow. It's amazing. I want to show you a feat of endurance with two coins. It took me many years of practice to get this right. I'm going to place one coin between my fingers, and I'm going to balance this coin on top of the other coin. And need very stable hands. And watch it balance. And I'll tell you what, I want you to have a go. Okay. Get it to balance. Now mind you, that is the easy way. Can't do it. But let me show you the hard way. Watch closely. This is the hard way. <laughs> and you can even spin it around. 
Oh, wow. I'll tell you what. Why don't you have a go? Figure that one out yourself. I'm not going to try. <laughs> That's really good. Transposition from a 50 pence piece to a 2 pence piece. Cool. Transposition from a 10 pence piece to 1 penny. Really, really good. Angela, do you got a note I can borrow? Yeah, I've got a tempo note. So can I borrow it for a second, please? I'm not going to get it back. You are? I'm going to play a little um, guessing game here. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep your money. I'm going to roll this in a, in a ball. And the objective of this is for you to locate... The ten pound note. There's nothing in the cup. It's a ten pound note in the cup. Yeah. Now, where's the ten pound note? It's in your hand. In my hand. That's correct. Now, I need you to tell me where the ball is now. The it's in your hand ten pound note. Correct. Now, where's the ten pound note now? It's still in your hand. If you watch closely. Believe it or not, it's not here either. Open the palm of your hands and I want you to just count to three. One, two, three. Do you see that? Wow. That's it. Here's another trick with a ten pound note rolled up into a ball. Um, again, you've got to try and locate the ten pound note. Where is that? It's in your hand. It's in my hand, excellent. It's in your hand. It's in my hand, yeah. Right. Now, where is it now? I think it's in your hand, but I'm going to say you're, it's in the cup. No, it's not. So, where is the ball? It must be in the cup. No, there's nothing there. 